a red day today to be down $410. I took two stab at Tesla, um, but let's jump into pretty much the reasoning why I took the trade. That's it. So um, honestly, I wasn't loving Tesla. The only reason I got in my radar, it was because in pre-market session, we got above this daily key level and we we're getting closer and closer to um, yesterday high day. The reason I didn't like it was because as you can see here, um, yesterday we actually held really, really nice below this daily key level. So that was kind of like my thesis I wanted to see. And that's what I wrote above yesterday high day for a move to two days ago high day. But again, I'm going against a bigger picture as I wrote here. Um, so I want to have going with my scalpy hat. What I actually deviated from my pre-market plan. So, the, but the reason I deviated was again, because I, I saw how we were respecting this daily key level yesterday and we actually got below and started showing weakness. So I thought like, okay, we actually sellers might step in. This might just have been a trap my train of thought but if you jump into the smaller time frame so this is kind of like what i was seeing um on the one minute we actually push higher but settler stepped in on even the first one minute we actually show a relative weakness compared to the whole market we came low we made the opening range break lower came lower and had a really na like nice bearish close on the five minute so my channel thought was like okay i want to wait for a, some type of pattern here's the pattern actually i saw so right here i felt like this was a decent bear flag for a move lower i was gonna just scalp it lower that's kind of like my strong thought with my stop loss right above um so i decided to enter here um i did my entry was a bit late i should have entered right on the break of this pretty much trend line once we made a woman low ideally best case scenario but i enter right on the um pretty much on the break of lower day it's not the best and um i just entered a contract because i wasn't super convinced so uh and then i exit right right away afterwards i right here a contract so uh, this was just a small loser. It was like a $50 loser. Again, I entered a very small size. But then we came up and seller stepped in. And I just saw this forming really nice with high volume. And here I entered full precision. Um, so I entered uh, 16 contract. And again, I ended up just faking me out. We got chopped up right here. Um, I had my stop loss above here, but just the risk reward wasn't there. So I told myself if we get above 174, because I saw a lot of resistance around 174. If we go above 174, I'm gonna reduce my size and let the other eight, if it wants to work out, work out. So I exit eight contract here, half of my position. We ended up, and I thought I was gonna get stopped out, but we actually ended up rejecting VWAP. Came lower um, out of my eight remaining contract. I exit two here. Again, just because I wasn't loving the fact that I wasn't going quick, but it will still look pretty good for, work, for it to work. And also the market was helping because we were actually pushing lower. And we actually ended up bouncing and I told myself, I didn't want to wait until I get stopped out up here. Um, just because it was the, I feel like my stop loss was way too far. My risk reward wasn't the best on this trade. Uh, mainly because I felt, it, yes, at the time it looked good, but honestly, now looking back, I definitely chased. But um, this is kind of like the setup I wanted to see and I saw seller stepping in really nice. But ideally when I see this, I like to see follow through and then we didn't see that. So um, once we got above and close above VWAP, I decided to exit full precision. So yeah, definitely got chopped up uh, with um, Tesla. But as I said, I wasn't really loving it and I just had to pay the consequences because first things first, I actually didn't have a game plan to the downside. I actually had my only game plan was to the long side. And the only stock I'm open-minded is Nvidia for both scenarios. Um, so I kind of came with that mentality with Tesla and deviated for my pre-market plan. Um, which is not good but i do understand why i decided to trade it it was mainly because of this daily key level how we respect it yesterday and we are actually got below again so i felt like we could see a nice flush and it just felt like it was a trap for buyers but definitely got chopped up today as part of trading um things i could have done better um obviously not looking back i should have i should have traded tesla because i didn't have it it wasn't part of my plan my pre-market plan um so honestly i should have taken tesla at all um today more than likely should have been a no trade for me but it is what it is i decided to try it out and i feel like i did a pretty good job at managing my risk just my as i said my risk to reward on my second trade wasn't the best um so that being said those were my trade for may 9th